Hey Scorpio, thanks for joining me. Welcome to your reading. So this reading is for if you have Scorpio in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. I highly recommend that you check out your other placements because I really find that the combination is what is very unique for you and uh, can give you a better big picture. So I'm gonna do things a little bit differently to start out this video. I was thinking about what my main intention is with these readings and for me, my main intention is to help you connect with your higher self, the divine within you. Just simply try to be a bridge to that within yourself. So the best way that I know how to do that is to get quiet, to take a few minutes to really clear your energy. So I'm gonna play the sound bowl to start. Just allow that sound to feel like it's like washing over you. Let anything that you're carrying, the thoughts, the anything that feels heavy, all of it, allow it to feel like it's going into the ground to be recycled by Mother Earth um, into something new and beautiful. So just let the Earth take that energy. Let yourself be clear. I'm going to be shuffling through all the decks and pulling all the cards because that gives you a couple of minutes to really have some quiet time. You'll probably hear the shuffling, but have some quiet time to focus on your breathing, to really kind of almost meditate. And if that's something that you don't want to do right now or don't feel called to do, you can always fast forward that part. But I really feel like so many of us were so busy in our lives that uh, it helps to have a reason to do it for a few minutes. So I'm hoping the video can do that. And then the other intention is hopefully to get you some messages that will be helpful. But the connecting with your higher self to me is way more important than any tarot card that comes out or anything that I say. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I'm Wendy Irene, founder of GiveLoveCreateHappiness.com. You can also find links to my work at WendyIrene.com. So if you feel called to uh, come join me in my creative space, I'd love to see you there. Close your eyes if you'd like and take a deep breath in. And the biggest exhale you've done all day. As your shoulders sink, let the energy go into the ground. And just continue to focus on your breathing.
Scorpio, let's get started. So with pulling all the cards, I was getting the the message of peace coming out over and over and over again. So I feel like someone here is really wanting peace, whether that's you or someone else. They're really the the feeling is of really just wanting to be peaceful, just wanting that energy of peace here. The first card that came out is Unity, um, Hibiscus. So I pulled that from the flower deck and uniquely, um, I haven't been using that deck in most of the readings this time around. Usually each cycle I'll use mostly the same decks, but I felt really called to use this in your reading. But the only other reading where I felt really called to use that deck was also Virgo, in case you're dealing with a Virgo, so that might make sense for some of you. Okay, so the unity card is really healing relationships based on the understanding that um, everyone is connected through God. So there is some kind of, you know, healing, whether it's a family or friend or just yourself, but it's happening through understanding that we're all connected through God, through source, through the universe. Like, however... Um, you connect whatever word you connect i'm comfortable with the word god a lot of people are not because of um having a bad experience with religion in some way so it just just even though i use that you can take that to mean source or whatever it makes sense for you but we're all very much spiritually connected and that sacred bond being aware and conscious of that sacred bond is what can really help you heal whatever relationship it is that you're trying to heal or that you feel like needs healing because also I'm feeling that with the peace card there's something where there's this healing that's wanting to occur like you want peace or this person really wants peace with you the yoga card has come up and I'm feeling a couple of different things to be honest because yoga is very much a spiritual path um, not just an exercise form so for some of you you may be embracing a spiritual path through yoga or the suggestion of doing some yoga might help you achieve the feeling of peace for some people movement really helps clear their energy you know like it could be meditation like for me meditation really helps me for other people it's really the act of moving um, so it could be that maybe doing some yoga will really help you achieve more of that peaceful feeling that you're after, but there's a peace offering here with the white buffalo card. I just love, look how beautiful this picture is. It just feels really pure and light filled. So, you know, someone may be offering you peace in a situation or it might be reversed. It may be you offering peace, but just this feeling of peace, um, you can really, achieve that through this spiritual path and if if for you you connect that with movement great it doesn't have to be that it could be breath work um there's so many things that go hand in hand with yoga like the teachings or so you'll have to take it as it resonates for you okay so the next two cards that come out of the deck are endings and beginnings and then peace again comes out so endings and beginnings, this is really my beautiful Scorpio about releasing the past. Whether you need to release past things that happened or um, you're hanging on to the past and your soul is really wanting you to move forward, it's one of the two. For some of you, it's really about, okay, these past things happened, you've been hanging on to them, they were, they could have been hurtful or, or, or hurt someone and um, you need to really let it go. Forgiveness in the meaning, let it go, let go of it. Don't carry it anymore. Let it go into the earth. Like when we were doing the energy, just going into the earth, we were like, well, the past needs to go. So whether it's thoughts about the past that you're carrying or, or the fact that your soul wants to move forward into the new, you'll have to really listen to yourself for that message. But the the feeling of peace you're wanting, the feeling of peace, you just want to be at peace. I keep hearing that over and over again. And please know that there's no need to worry, okay? 
everything is working out beautifully. Um, so when you get caught up in worry and anxiety, please know that things are working out beautifully for you, okay? You, uh, you have that connection to source, God, the divine. You are not alone. You have that connection. Things are working out for you. There's a lot of beautiful cards that came up here too. So, okay, the next thing that I pulled here is three cards together. Law of Attraction, Solar Plexus Chakra, and Mediumship. So law of attraction, um, for me, this is all about really working on your belief system. And for one, what is it that you believe? Because that has a really, uh, plays a really big role in what, what manifests into reality for you. So I feel like you're becoming okay, with the mediumship card and the law of attraction, you're becoming much more sensitive and aware of energies. Maybe much more sensitive than you ever were, and maybe that's why you're drawn to these videos now, which I'm so happy to have you here. But I feel like you're really, you're really awakening to that. Um, so it could be that relationships or activities that you used to do, they might not bring you the same joy that they once did because things are changing. As you become more sensitive to and aware of this energy, you're changing. And so past relationships or activities, they may change as well because you have changed, right? You're, you're, you're changing where you're at energetically. And if you think of yourself as like a magnet attracting the like, like you are changing. So, um, and maybe that feels a little bit scary for some of you. And that's why like this energy of peace is coming up because you just want to feel at peace and maybe you're feeling a little bit unsettled, but like you have the natural, this natural ability you are. And it's like awakening within you. Maybe it was always there, but you didn't really understand or know or really connect with it or take time. But you, you know, you have the medium show, you have the ability to connect with departed loved ones. Um, maybe that's not something that you really were open to before in the past, or maybe you were, and you're really developing those skills. But I feel like the reason that's coming up is because you do have loved ones around you, um, who are watching over you, okay, that really love you. Solar plexus chakra, stomach area. Whenever you feel like you need strength to really stand up for what you believe in or you need to be the lion and the lamb where you stand strong in what's right for you, um, you can place, my teacher Belinda Davison has taught me, like you can place your hand on your stomach and that energizes that chakra. Uh, this is kind of your protector. This is you being powerful and taking charge and it's coming from the stomach area. So taking charge of your life in positive ways. So I would say you know, what can help that is putting your attention on that chakra. You can look into it online, look up the solar plexus chakra. There's so much good information. Um, like I said, Belinda Davison is my teacher who taught me about chakras. I love her work, so maybe you could find something of hers. But also you can focus on the color yellow because the solar plexus chakra is uh, related to yellow. So I feel like this is you being strong and taking charge of your life, okay? You want peace with those around you. Maybe you feel like it's been hard because as you're changing, it, you know, it makes other people uncomfortable. Some people uh, want you to stay the same. And that's difficult because you're not. You're not the same anymore here. Okay, so the next deck, Eight of Fire, the Lovers, and the Wheel. So some of you are dealing with a love situation here. Um, it may be a choice in love or for some of you who are not dealing with a love situation, like say you're in a relationship that's like settled and stable, it's some kind of choice. So because there's many of you that watch this, it's not going to be the same. Some of you are dealing with love. There is a soulmate love connection here. Some of you are dealing with a choice in love and some of you are dealing with a choice that's very much connected to your heart space. Okay. The eight of fire is... Um, delays being over think of fire as passion and it's like things can start moving at a fast pace 
It can feel sometimes like many things are happening at once, and maybe that's also why it's so important for you to connect to that peaceful energy. For those of you that are dealing with some kind of decision or choice, it's really a message of carefully weigh your decisions, okay? But for others of you too, there's a message of good health coming through. The wheel is a time of positive change. The situation moving forward suddenly, that's going hand in hand with the eight of fire. Something is moving forward. Something is ending, some kind of delay is ending and something is very much moving forward and know that you have fortune on your side. The wheel is good fortune is on your side here, Scorpio. So when I see the wheel and the lovers card together, I love that because it's very much like a positive change with love, a positive change happening. Could be a positive change within the relationship. It could be a positive change happening with love in general, but very much the good fortune on your side here. Okay, the Ace of Raphael, the Five of Gabriel, and the Star card. Gosh, new beginning, new beginning, new emotional experience, new fulfilling romantic relationship for some of you um, or like a resurgence kind of a thing. Uh, also spiritual insights coming through, mediumship card, law of attraction, this, there's, you are receiving spiritual insights. There's some kind of fulfilling new beginning. It might be romantic for you. Here, the Five of Gabriel uh, is feeling like if there's a challenge in some way. Like you feel like you've been challenged. So, in terms of peace, withdraw from the drama of other people. Have patience with yourself. Have patience with those around you. You can resolve this, okay? Um, you, you can choose that state of peace. The more that you choose that state of peace, the more that everything else that's not that is, is going to fall away because it's not like attracts like, right? Like, so you really want to work on that peaceful energy within yourself, okay? Allow the, the other stuff to fall away because it's not a match for you anymore. And withdraw from any drama and conflict, harsh situations. Withdraw from it, okay? The star card, you are shining. You are standing out. I feel like you could be being acknowledged. Some of you are going to, um, it can be like, you know, associated with the card of fame and that like you're standing out. People are acknowledging you. It can be a very much a wish come true with the star card. The ability to believe in yourself is very strong here. And again, at end of a difficult situation, dreams coming true. Very much feeling that, like I said with the wheel card, good fortune on your side here, fortune on your side. Queen of Cups in the tower, Queen of Cups, this is you. I'm feeling you so strongly here, your beautiful water sign. Uh, you really um, being very much in touch with your emotions and your heart, but being very wise at the same time with them, uh, knowing what your emotions are teaching you, but being wise with them. The tower is an unexpected event. Sometimes we welcome the tower card. We welcome that kind of thing because the tower is all about removing what's not right for you. Um, see the universe as this loving energy that wants to remove things that aren't right for you. Just as I'm saying, walk away from drama or like the drama of others, walk away from it. Like the universe wants to remove things that are not right for you too. Sometimes it's unexpected. Sometimes a tower moment comes in because that shakeup is needed. It's needed to push you on the path, right? So something that is not right for you, maybe unexpected, there's some kind of change, but know that this is positive. This is good fortune coming in. Maybe when it's unexpected, it doesn't always necessarily feel like that because you're like, kind of like, what? <laughs> um, think of the tower. It can be like a very positive unexpected change as well here, okay? Um, and it's always for your highest good. So I do see it as a positive change. It's just that sometimes the tower is saying, hey, maybe you didn't see this coming ahead of time, but you're the queen of cups here. You are standing out as the star, Scorpio. Um, remember, connecting with that peaceful energy starts within you, okay? Allow the other stuff to fall away because you are in the energy of peace and you're working for that. Um, yeah, I love this for you. I love that you have good fortune on your side. You know, some of you have 
this has to do with love and you shining brightly, you being acknowledged. There's this new fulfilling emotional experience for you. Be kind with yourself about the fact that you're changing. You're not the same as you once were. Okay, Scorpio, I am in your corner sending you so much love and light. Uh, thank you guys for all the things that you do to help support this channel and make it grow by subscribing and sharing and the comments. I love to hear that. So if any of this makes sense for you and you want to let me know, I love hearing from you in the comments. Have a beautiful November and sending you so much love. Bye, Scorpio.